What's going on everyone, my name is Alpha, and today we're back with another Pokemon challenge video. Today we're on Pokemon Radical Red, and today's challenge will be can I beat Pokemon Radical Red using only Steven Stone's champion team. Now, interestingly enough, I actually set a poll out, and there is four trainers on this list. I actually wanted to do Gold's team, but a lot of you guys actually wanted me to do Steven's team, and unfortunately for that uh steven's team actually is some of the hardest things i ever tried this is the worst challenge video i've ever done i promise you it is the most difficult one i've ever done and, and we'll get to that we'll get to that in a second but to preface the video i'm using only steven stone's champion team some from ruby sapphire and emerald and his team consists of a metagross obviously a skarmory cradley in our model and an agron and a glado so these are the six pokemon we can only use on our team and i mean we're gonna try to have some fun with that uh and of course since i'm using a full team each of the pokemon in my team will be nicknamed after you guys in the comments so thank you so much for leaving a comment in the previous challenge video if you guys want to be nicknamed after my pokemon in a future challenge videos, just drop it in the comments and hopefully i'll pick yours and while you guys are down here leaving your comment for a nickname, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below some challenge ideas just like this one, or some theme teams you want me to try on Red Echo Red or any ROM hack at all. And subscribe if you're not already. And let's get into the challenge video. So to start off, of course, I gotta randomize. I know you guys don't really like the randomizing thing, but you know what? I can't really spawn in with his team. So we gotta randomize this team. And as much as you guys don't like it, I don't like it. So we have to randomize until we get one of the Pokemon in his lab on the table, part of Steven's team. So we are going to get Beldum. Uh of course we get Beldum. Beldum is one of the worst Pokemon we can get. I was looking for like a fall Metagross, maybe like an Armado, but we got a Beldum. We start from the basics, just like Steven Stone. Uh, Beldum only has takedowns, so we're just kind of hoping. We have to look through all the routes, see if anything is part of our team. And we do this for every single route in the game. And we have to check every single encounter, just in case one of the Pokemon on the route is part of our team. And, you know, there's a lot of times where there's a 1% encounter, there's multiple 1% encounters, 2% encounters, so it gets really tedious over time. Uh, but as soon as we head into Viridian Forest, there is a Pokemon we can catch. For us in here, there's an aggro we can catch, which is part of Steven Stone's team. Luckily, we catch that and put that on our team. And as well, once we beat Brendan and get the XP share in the forest, we're going to move on. We could change the night to day cycle, which will update the encounter rates and give us different counters. And as you can see, once it's daytime, Lilip is actually available to us in the forest as well. So we, we get a third member on the team from Steven's team. Once we are done with that, luckily we don't just have to use just a Beldum. We're going to head into the museum in Pewter City and face against Faulkner. Faulkner is going to be like a flying type Johto gym leader. Uh, we're going to beat down the Wingo easily. Then we're going to send in our Leap to finish the job against the Emolga. And things are looking pretty nice for him. And things are looking pretty nice right now. Once we are done with that, we're going to head into the first gym of the game, which is going to be in Pewter City against Brock. Brock is going to start off the battle using Geodude. I'm just going to use my Bellum to break the sturdy of the Geodude. And send in my Aggron to Mudslap and knock it out. Then he's going to send out his Onyx next. I'm going to return, set up my Lilip, and use Mega Drain and knock him out. Then he's going to send out his Bulpix. I'm going to switch back into my Aggron. And then knock him out using Rock Tomb. And we've got the first gym badge. It gets harder than this. I mean, I promise you, it gets very, very difficult after this. We're going to head through the Rock Tunnel and then head into Vermilion City. Because we got to beat down Brennan to get the Lucky Eggs right here. And then we're going to head backwards into Cerulean City. And then face off against Misty. Misty's going to be the Water Type Gym Leader. And we're going to start the battle using our Matang against him. Uh, she's going to use Grass Knot for some reason, so I'm going to use Ice Punch, and then two Ice Punch will knock it down to red HP, and then a Bullet Punch will knock her out easily, just like that, and then we're going to sack our Matang to the Floto, then we're going to send out our Lilip, Giga Dream will knock it out in one shot. My plan for Lilip is to do some damage against the Starmie, and then hopefully Agron can clean up, but uh, apparently Lilip can clutch up by itself, so Lilip knocks out the Starmie, and we get the second Gym Badge. And now we got two Gym Badges down, I got up. Mm, I gotta check every single route, so we gotta check all the encounters in Diggler's Cave, and then we can head into the SSN, get the HM for cut, and then head into Lieutenant Surge's Gym. In Surge's Gym, is gonna be the electric type gym leader, of course. We're gonna use Agar against his Pin Churchin. Hmm? Hmm? I said it right, guys. I said it right. Anyways, I'm gonna bulldoze his Pinchurchin and then bulldoze against, against his Raichu. Another Rock Slide on the Pinchurchin, and then a bulldoze would knock it out. And then he can send on his Vega Ball. I'm able to get Rock Slide off. Then I'm able to send him my Batang against him. Zen Hippo would knock him out. Then he's going to send out his Manectric. 
move to Bulldoze, not good to Pinchurchin, and then he's gonna knock me out using Charge Beam. But luckily, Lily Leap's in the bag. I'm gonna use Confuse Ray, and then Giga Drain's gonna hit itself in Confusion three times, and then Giga Drain knocks him out. So we take those, we take those where we can, cause cause we really need all the help we can. Uh, from here though, we're gonna head into the Rock Tunnel, and we're gonna clear through all the routes and the encounters in here. Uh, luckily though, we are very very lucky right outside a rock tunnel we get a bow toy out here and we can catch yourself a bow toy. We got a fourth member on Steven Stone's team and uh, let's go boys. So we're gonna involve that into a clay though. We're also gonna involve our Matang into a Metagross. And then from there though, we're gonna head into Erica's gym, which Erica's gym is the grass type gym leader in Saladon City, and we're gonna start the battle using Metagross. We need a Metagross to beat this. So we're gonna start using Metagross, we're gonna equip him using the weakness policy, we're gonna let Rillaboom hit me in the face using uh, high horsepower, and then we're gonna hope Venusaur misses his sleep power. We're gonna restart until we get all of this, and uh, finally, once we do get all of this, we're gonna knock out the Rillaboom, and then we're gonna knock out the Venusaur as well with Meteor Bash, trying to get an attack boost, and then Bullet Punch will knock him out. Then we're able to Ice Punch and Bullet Punch knock out the Superior, and as well the Megadian comes out. I'm not able to do any damage because apparently Mega Train is getting killed me, and then I'm able to send him my clay though. I'm gonna live one attack and then I'm gonna use heal block against him, which will stop any healing moves he has. So he's gonna knock me out using Talents and Gleam. And then Agron would knock him out using Iron Head. And of course, his final Pokemon will be Pseudo Woodle. Iron Head luckily knocks him out in two shots and would beat Erica and her grass type Pokemon. From there though, we're gonna head into the game corner where we're gonna check every single Pokemon as a prize Pokemon to see if anything's ours. Uh, luckily, at the end though, for Agumi, it's been randomized to be an Anorif, and boom, we get an Anorif on our team, and unfortunately, unfortunately, <laughs> this is the last Pokemon we get of Steven Stone's team. We don't get every single Pokemon of his team, which is unfortunate. It's so frustrating, because I, I got all his Pokemon so early on. But the final Pokemon I can't get ever, Skarmory, I could not find. I'll show you all my attempts of trying to find him, but they'll be in the upcoming uh, segments. Anyways, we're going to head into Giovanni's fight in the basement of the Team Rocket Hydro. We're going to just barely scrape by Giovanni with our Metagross and Weakness Policy. And then we're going to head into Lavender Tower. We're going to clear through Lavender Tower, get Mr. Fuji's Poke Flute, and then check all the encounters up there too. Then we're gonna head into Self Co. Uh, we're gonna clear through Self Co. Get some nice XP over here. Uh, clear through each level. Get all the items as well. We're gonna head into battle against our rival Gary. We're gonna beat our rival Gary easily, as you can see. I mean, nothing too special. I guess it was special because I barely scraped by. But we're gonna head into the Ariana and Archer fight next, where Ariana and Archer just gets destroyed. My team is actually really, really good in double battles, as you see from the Ariana and Archer fight. I am just smoking them. Well, I mean, for once though, Brendan did not use Boomers against me, which is surprising he didn't use it. But my team is uh, doing pretty well. I mean, Sceptile kind of carried me, but we beat down Archer and Ariana. And now we're going to face off against Giovanni. Uh, beat him down easily. <laughs> That's all I could really say. Clado clutched things up. And then we're going to head into, oh my god, the start of the most hellish battles. Every single battle from now on is going to be very difficult for no reason. So we're going to face off against Sabrina in her gym. This is a one of our thousands of attempts against Sabrina and we go down. So the entire strategy is to get Clado boosted up. We're going to start the battle using Clado and then using Metagross. We're going to teach Metagross Light Screen as a utility Pokemon. So once that is set up, I'm going to switch out my Metagross so it evades any damage. Let my model goes down, which you know, it's tough. I'm going to try to weaken down a Psychic Terrain. I have Shore up on my Clado so I can regain my HP at any point. I'm going to Cosmic Power to gain all the defenses I need. Then I'm going to start setting up using my Aggro, use Thunder Wave on the Ndidi, of course. And then from there though, once I am truly ready, once I am 100% sure I am ready, I'm going to start attacking them using my Metagross and Clado. We're going to focus down the Hatterene first. Once we knock out the Hatterene, the Crawdon going to come out next. Then we're going to Earth Power and the Meteor Mash. Unfortunately, it's not enough to knock it out. But I'm going to set out my Cradle Lead next. I'm going to Earth Power it, then Stockpile using my Cradle Lead to get some defense on it as well. Without the Psychic Terrain, Indeed is not actually really that powerful, as you can see. And it's kind of an easier fight once you stall Psychic Terrain. And then the Gardevoir, we got to focus down the Gardevoir. Once we focus down the Gardevoir, things get a lot easier. 
our cradle is gonna go down, but uh Kledo is able to 1v3 everything. He's gonna psychic down the NDD in psychic terrain and we're gonna shore up in front of the Conqueror and the Porygon 2, where we will eventually get two special defense drops on the Conqueror where we can knock it out eventually. And then we only get seven psychics left, so we're gonna shore up in front of it, and then we're gonna psychic knock out the Porygon 2 just barely, and we get Sabrina's gym badge from that. From there though, we're gonna head down Cycling Road and then head into Fuchsia City to face off against Brendan. And nothing special here, just beat down Brendan, you know, classic beat down Brendan. And then we're gonna head into the Safari Zone where the entire Safari Zone, there's not one single Skarmory at all. I said I went into the daytime, I went at night, I went through the evening, I went through dusk. I, there is nothing in the Safari Zone that indicates there's a Skarmory here at all. And I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad. I spent so much money in the Safari Zone. I spent so much time looking at every single route that there is nothing for us. I mean, ah, look at this. I went to the routes east of Future City. There is nothing for us west of Future City. Nope. I restart from Palatown. Chitch keep changing the time to see more encounters. There is still nothing for us. And it's very frustrating. And I just kind of gave up at one point. Anyways, we're going to head into Future City's gym, which is against Koga. Koga is going to be... I mean, there's no real type he is, but we're going to start the battle using our Metagross against his Quillfish, which is weird. He has one, but we're going to knock him out using Zen Headbutt and a Bullet Punch. Then I am able to switch out into my model against the Green Ninja. It doesn't take a lot of damage from Dark Post, and his first impression will knock him out in one shot easily like that. Then he's going to send out his Dragon Pose next. His Dragon Pose can knock out my armada, model, which is fine. Then I'm going to send him my Metagross. I could live and attack against the Dragon Pose, which I could boost up using Weakness Policy. Meteor Mesh would knock him out and get an attack raise. He's going to send out his Sasogor next. Blood Punch would knock him out easily just like that. And Blood Punch would do a chunky amount against the Drapion. Then I'm going to send out my Aggron to knock out. Then he's going to send out his Toxicity. He's going to knock out my Aggron. I'm going to Confuse Ray using my Cradley against the Toxicity. And lucky enough, he gets confused and hits himself in confusion a lot. Ancient Power would knock him out. And there goes Koga. We got the 6th Gym Bench pretty easily. And now we're going to head into the worst gym fight of my life. We spent a lot of time because we had to tinker so much. And I mean, eventually I decided to use Calm Mind and Cosmic Power on my Cradle. So I'm going to start the battle against Blaine. We're going to start the battle using our Metagross. We're going to Rock Slide it, flinch the Torkoal so it doesn't get any stuff rocks up. We're going to knock him out using Rock Slide and then tap Flotion is going to knock my Metagross out. Then I'm going to Rock Slide using my Aggron as he lives with Sturdy and knock out the tap Flotion. Cinderance comes out if I could, uh, you know, avoid one of his attacks. That's very useful, but unfortunately he knocks me out. Then I'm going to send in my Cradle to stall out some Sun Turns. Finally, I can send in my Claydol and then in Cosmic Power in front of him. Luckily, I survive any hits and then shore up in front of him. And I need to get boosted up all the way. Once I get boosted up all the way, he can send out his Sunflora. Now, this Sunflora is very annoying because it's actually really good. <laughs> So he's going to burn me using flamethrower, he's going to use seed flare, I'm going to stall his seed flares and then I only have two shore ups left. But once I find a good timing, I'm going to psychic knock him out, then his charger comes out, I'm going to psychic knock him out as well. And then his Venusaur, luckily I have one more psychic and I just barely not kill him. But he's going to knock me out, have our model in the back, which has first impression, which will knock him out. And we beat to Blaine, thank god for that. <laughs> oh my god, it took so long for trying to figure out what I should do. But from there though, we're going to head into Cerulean Cave where we have to fight Archer and Ariana in its consecutive battles, which actually turns out to be okay. We beat down Archer with only with only 2 and like uh, a 10 HP cradley. So we're going to start the battle using our Metagross, luckily. Uh, Mirror Mash will one-shot the Hattering and get an attack boost, which is, oh my god, it's fantastic. We're going to get Sucker Punch by the Honchko, which is fine, but Mirror Mash will knock him out. Mirror Mash will also knock out the Bow Wow as it's not able to Sucker Punch me for some reason. Then I'm going to do a chunky mount against the Rhyperior and ho. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We survived. We beat down Archer and Ariana very easily. And if you guys thought that was easy, we're going to face off against Giovanni. And in here, we destroyed Giovanni. We just, I was just messing around. I don't know what actually happened. But the other went crazy and then just destroyed everything. Look at this. Uh, we got to the end. We're going to meter mash, knock out the Mewtwo, of course. And then we're going to knock out the Tyrantor. And that's the first try. We beat Giovanni on first try, easily, just like that. From there, though, we're going to head into Claire's gym, where we're going to teach our clay doll Trick Room. Interesting, right? Uh, yeah, it took some time for me to realize that's what I need. But we're going to face off against Claire. We're going to start the battle using our model against her Aerodactyl. We're going to first impression, then liquidate it. Uh, try to just make it miss the Stone Edge. Then we're going to let our Metagross get hit by Fur Cannon. 
and then we're sending our Clado to get boosted up using Calm Mind. I'm going to shore up in front of him, and then once we're ready, once we're done boosting up, uh, we're going to second Magirna twice in the head, and then Trick Room up, and then Psychic Knockabout. He's going to send out his Dragovich next. We're able to outspeed it in Trick Room to knock it out. That's the whole point of this. I can't outspeed Dracovich. That's why I keep losing. So he's going to send out his Duraludon next. I'm able to Psychic 2-shot it, survive a Draco Meteor easily. And then the Dragonite comes out, I'm able to survive any hits it could put out on me. So, second will knock him out as well. And then his final Pokemon, and knock it to the dough. I survived that easily. And we knock him out as well. And we beat Claire, just like that. From there though, we're going to head into Victory Road. And there's some things for us in here. We need the items of the Rare Candy, of course. We're going to clear through Victory Road. But at the end of it, in the entrance of the Indigo League, there is a trainer for us. Once we beat the trainer, we get the Metagross site where we can finally Mega Evolve from the Metagross. We're going to head into the Elite Four. We're going to face off against Lorelei. Lorelei is going to be the first Elite Four member that we fight against. So Lorelei can start the battle using a Polytone and a Polyrath, which is interesting. She can switch up her team. We're going to switch out our model into our Cradle League to avoid any water damage. And then we're going to Zen Headbutt the Polyrath easily. Survive any water moves, just like that. We're going to switch back our model because we don't want to lose our Cradle League. And then we're going to knock out the Polyrath as he sends out a Kyogre, which is cool. I mean, I'm going to switch back into my Cradle League to avoid water moves and then try to knock out the Kyogre over there. Uh, he's going to Earthquake, which does more damage against him than we do. He's going to knock out my Metagross, which is fine. Send him my model. I'm going to Giga Drain and knock out the Swampert. First impression, we'll knock out the Kyogre. And look at that. We get a double KO. Then he's going to send out his Kingdra and a Polytone. I'm going to do some chip damage. I'm going to switch out my model into my Clado. Then he's going to send it in his Draco Bitch. I'm able to Giga Drain and get my HP back from it because I have a lot of HP. I have a lot of HP, special defense, and I got Storm Drain. So. It's completely fine with me. I can Giga Drain back up my HP, knock out the Dragovish and the King Joe. Get another double KO just like that. And then he's gonna set on his Polytoad, and that's the final Pokemon on his team. And we beat Lorelei just like that. We get a heal off and we're face off uh, Bruno. Bruno is a struggle, but hey, you know what? After this restart, we can finally get into real attempt. You know, to face off against Bruno, what we gotta do is start the battle using our Metagross. We're gonna Zen Headbutt his Earth Shifu to guarantee the KO because I have Bullet Punch, obviously. Then he's going to send out his scissor, I'm going to Earthquake, and two, it goes down to red HP. Then he's going to Super Power, he has a Life Orb, he's going to knock me out, so that's two for one right there. He's going to send out his Lucario next, I'm going to Thunder Wave to Lucario, which is a special attacker. I'm going to let my Aggron die and then send in my Claydol to Cosmic Power in front of him. Uh, lucky enough, I get the boost out, which is great. Then I'm going to Shore up, get my HP back, and then finally I start attacking his team once I get fully boosted up. And then Psychic would knock out the Lucario just like that. And then uh, Zashin comes out. I'm going to survive a hit easily. Psychic will not come out. Then he's going to send out his Terrakian. I'm going to shore up and then Psychic. And then Psychic knocks out the Conqueror just like that. And we got through Bruno, which is fantastic. We're going to head into Agatha's Shaman. Uh, we got many, many attempts against Agatha, as you can see clearly. But what we have to do is I'm going to break down each Pokemon for you. For Metagross, we're going to switch out his Megastone for a Cassid Berry, which will weaken Ghost type super effective moves. For a model, we gotta put up a Berry Berry to weaken down Steel moves, and, and also on our Clay Doh, we're gonna put another Cassid Berry and to weaken Ghost moves. From there, though, we're gonna head into the battle against Agatha. We're gonna head into war against Agatha. This is almost so much theory crafting. I put so much time. I also teach my Clay Doh Trick Room <laughs> because we need all of this to work. So we're gonna face off against Agatha in her chamber. Uh, we're gonna start the battle using our Cradley. Clearly, he's getting, we're going to restart until we find the Gengar uh, that we can fight against. Uh, this is going to be the Zoroark. Zoroark's easier to face than his Grimmsnarl. So, we're going to start the battle using our Cradley to Giga Drain down the Zoroark and then knock it out. Then, he's going to send out his Aegis Lash next. I'm going to send him our model to get the Toxic off. And then, I'm going to wait until he gets out of Shield Mode and then attacks me with Shadow Ball because I'm going to weaken the Flash Cannon if it tries to attack me. So, Shadow Ball is going to hit me. I'm going to Earthquake knock him out. So, that's another Pokemon down. Spectre will come out, it's gonna knock my Amado down, but it's gonna get a stat boost. So I gotta switch into my Clado. I'm gonna trick room up so my Pokemon are fast. I'm gonna feature check just in case that's not enough. Then send in my Metagross. Luckily, a Mirror Mesh crit will knock him out just like that. Then he's gonna set out Steel Valley next. I'm gonna switch into my Aggron. I'm gonna Thunder Wave him. Uh, unfortunately, Future Sight does not do anything against him. He's gonna Party Star into his Marshadow, which I'm able to send in my Metagross. 
to Zen Headbutt, but then switch into my Cradle Lead to get sacked against the close combat. And then I'm gonna try to weaken him down, get as much stat drops as he can. Luckily for me though, Iron Head will two shot him as I live a close combat and break through Paralyze. And then he's gonna send out Sil Valley. I get another Iron Head off, which is fine. Then I'm gonna send in my Metagross against his Sil Valley. I'm able to meter mash twice and knock him out. And as he gets paralyzed, then his final Pokemon will be Gengar. Uh, I live one because of the Cassid Berry, Meter Mash, and then Bullet Punch would knock out the Gengar as we barely beat Gagatha. Oh my god, that was, oh my, that is, dis that is too much for me. I cannot believe we actually went through all that. And that's not even the final battle. The next battle is against Lance, and we're going to restart until we get Aerodactyl. And Aerodactyl has to miss stone edge so we're gonna restart until we finally get aerodactyl to miss stone edge and then from there though we're gonna finally face against lance because we need that you know extra pokemon boost so knock out the aerodactyl then he's gonna send out his dragovich i'm able to send him a cradley because to avoid everything a storm dream will absorb his water move he's gonna send out his melmetal next so i send my aggron to get the earthquake and weakness policy procs get my attack boost i outspeed it put it down to red hp and then knock it out using my metagross obviously then he's going to sell his Dragovich next, switch into my Cradle Lee again, don't get greedy of course, play it slow, Ancient Power breaks Dragonite multi skill and switch into my Metagross again as he's going to Outreach, Meter Mash will knock him out, as he sends out Dragovich again, he's going to use a Water Move, go into my Storm Dream Pokemon, switch into my Armada as Dialga comes out, and now I got to sack my Armada, my Cradle Lee, and my Metagross to this Dialga, as I am just kind of set up. I can't get Roar timed out, so I gotta sack all three of my Pokemon, which is fine. Then send in my Claydol against him. Claydol will start Cosmic Powering up and Calm Mining up against the Dialga. Luckily, he has Rest and he's gonna waste a lot of turns. From here, though, once I get finally boosted up, I'm able to Psychic down the Dracovich as he switches in for no reason. I have a Paschal Berry to weaken out Water Moves, and then I'm able to knock out the Dracovich just like that. I'm able to Psychic down the Dialga finally, and then shore up, get my HP back. And then finally, just barely knock out the Dialga as I'm running out of PP. Once I beat the Dialga, one last Pokemon is in our way, which is the Salamence. Luckily, I'm boosted up with using Cosmic Power, which I could live any move now. Double Edge would not knock me out, and Psychic would knock him out. So we beat Lance down. As we beat Lance, we're going to head into the next chamber, which is going to be the Champion's Chamber. And you got to look at this. I Bullet Punch knock out the Yvelto using nothing, just my Metagross. But Metagross just keeps Bullet Punching as he's trying to Sucker Punch. And he never does this again, which is unfortunate, but it's so cool. I just beat down him. Unfortunately, we don't beat him on this attempt as he beats down my the rest of my team using Throwdown. But that was kind of funny to watch as we face off against Gary in the final battle of the game. He's going to start the battle using his Pheromone, so we're going to start the battle using Metagross. We're going to Meter Mash, knock him down to his Focus Sash, obviously, and Bullet Punch will knock him out. I'm at 115 HP. I think I can survive some hits. Yvato's going to come out next. I'm going to Meter Mash. He's going to Oblivion Wing me. I'm going to Bullet Punch as he Sucker Punches, and then I outspeed using Meter Mash and knock him out. So Yvato goes down, and that's the only thing I got to do. Once that is done, I can get set up on everything. Uh, he's going to send out his hack Metagross, which is going to fire punch me. I don't know how that happened. I'm going to send in my Aggron. Luckily, he can finally done wave and then knock out the Metagross for me. Uh, do some chip damage and then send in my Claydol against him. I'm going to start boosting up. I know after three boosts, he's going to send out his uh, Groudon. So I'm going to send in my Armado next. I'm able to Earthquake in front of the Groudon. Get what I want. Just like that easily. I'm going to live a Stone Edge and then knock out the Groudon. And then he's going to send out his Metagross again. He's going to knock out my Armado, unfortunately. And then I'm going to boost it up all the way up as he can't really do too much he's gonna bullet punch me here and there but that's all he can really do as he actually runs out of meter mash pp and then he's gonna send out his uh, darmanitan trying to do some damage his flare blitz from darmanitan this isn't doing any damage at all darmanitan is gonna burn me but luckily claydol can knock out the darmanitan and then he can send out his metagross once again i'm gonna shore up as bullet punch does not knock me out uh mm -mm -mm, shore up again he's gonna send out his eternatus He's gonna meter beam me. He's gonna do like 20 damage. <laughs> He's gonna do 20 damage. Uh, I'm then gonna psychic him. Lower his special defense. Gonna switch out into his metagross. I'm getting cosmic power and call mine up still because I don't have fully boosted up. He's gonna switch back into his Eternatus for no reason. I mean, I mean, sure. I'm gonna shore up and then psychic will knock out the Eternatus. And then one point Pokemon is in my way, which is the metagross. He only has bullet punch. I'm just gonna call mine up and then I'm gonna eventually knock him out. I have one more psychic left. And I'm not fully boosted up still. So I got a call mine in front of him just a little bit more. And I knock him out using a crit. And we beat the champion of the game. We beat Gary. And we beat. And this is one of the hardest challenge I've ever done. 
and is a champions team somehow the champions team is one of the hardest challenges i've ever done but i mean it was fun to do obviously but <laughs> it was just tedious because i had to check every single route and sometimes a lot of my pokemon aren't that good i thought metagross was gonna be very good i'm not saying it's that good it really helped me through the challenge but mega metagross wasn't there most of the game because i only could get him at the end of the game and most of the time i had to rely on a bunch of different strategies but at the end we eventually beat the game uh, it took 11 hours <laughs> to beat the game but we finally beat the game and i hope you guys all enjoyed the video Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. It means a lot to me. We're close to 20k, so thanks so much for that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, some challenge ideas just like this one. And subscribe if you're not already. My name is Ben Alpha. Hope you guys all had a great day. I'm out. Peace.